Coral set up a trap for me and I fell right into it. At the beginning of the game, I sabotaged lights, then a meeting got called. And in that meeting, Coral said that their crewmate vision was really low and asked the host to improve it in the next game. Now, we all skipped. I killed purple in specimen, then sabotaged lights. And when purple's body got reported, I said in the meeting that the crewmate vision was really low. And him, Coral caught me off guard. He said that the crewmate vision when lights are sabotaged and when lights are fixed are the same. I failed in my attempt to blend in with the crewmates and now he thinks that I'm the imposter. Somehow, nobody noticed except for Tan, who further questioned me by asking where I was. I was in the hallway of floor decontamination, waiting for my kill cooldown to run out so that I would kill somebody, or for me to escape if somebody tries discovering the area in specimen. I lied by saying that I was in the area between office and storage, but he was having none of it and started sussing me as well. I managed to survive since the majority of us skipped, but I need to kill both Tan and Koran. I'm gonna pass the opportunity to kill Tan not only because Black remembers that I was with him in office, but also because Koran has a stronger case against me. It's easier to defend myself against Tan. Nice! Okay, Koran is now dead. Hopefully nobody will remember what he said from the last meeting, but my next target is Tan. Thank you, White. Tan was cooking. I had no right to surviving this meeting. I somehow barely made it though. So, Tan was trying to get an accurate timeline of my location throughout the whole past round. Black vouched for me for the latter half of the round where I was with them in the office area. But Tan was trying to know where I was during the time of the sabotage and before the time of the sabotage. I told him that I was in communications and that I saw him in comms with Banana. And he tried to call me a liar and frame me as an imposter, but I made a really good point by claiming that if I really lied, how would I know that Banana was with him in communications? And he was convinced and ended up skipping. Luck, dumb crewmates, and quick thinking were the only reasons I managed to survive the past two meetings. I have no right staying alive at this point. And unfortunately, these three alone are not enough to win us this game. So Tan has to die, because if I keep him alive, he will still be onto me, and I'm pretty sure that soon he will be onto White, and we will lose this game. Tan has to die this round. And if me and White, man, me or White, manage to kill Tan, we have to consider who should we kill next. I think the next big threat is either Blue, Orange, or Black. I know that Black vouched for me during the previous meeting, but again, he could remember what Tan said, what Tan and Coral both said about me, and could start sussing me as well. But just to be safe, what could be best for us is killing Black. Oh yeah, no one has revealed the role so far. There is one scientist, four guardian angels, two engineers, and I think White is a shapeshifter. All the roles have 100% chance. The visual tasks are on, and I think we just saw either Banana or Yellow do the scan in mid bay, they were, they were on top of each other, so we didn't really see who actually did the scan. The balance between the kill cooldown and the number of tasks is really good, but... Tan? Oh, Tan! Tan is dead. Tan is now dead. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're gonna win this. All we need is another double kill and the win is in the bag. For the past two and a half minutes, I've been trying to blend in with the crewmates, and I think I successfully did so. I could try to get on Banana and Yellow's good side. And besides, they're not gonna remember what Tan and Coral said. Both of our kill cooldowns must be ready. We have to... Come on! Yes! Oh my god, I almost lost this game. Let's move on to the bonus round. I'm not sure if either of them are trustworthy given the lack of evidence, but I guess we're not really losing much by voting out yellow. I mean, there are still many crewmates and we won't be losing much by voting out a silent crewmate who doesn't speak at all. Whether he's the imposter or not is still unclear. So both white and cyan claim that yellow is the imposter because they both saw yellow going with purple into office, which where the body was, and now that purple is dead, they think that yellow was the person who did it. Yellow did not defend himself, and since there are no shapeshifters, 
two imposters and many crewmates, you really can't blame us for voting Yellow out even though he might not actually be the imposter. There are no roles, the visual tasks are on, and so far Brown is the only person who did a visual, he did a, a mid base scan. The balance between the number of tasks and the kill cooldown favors the crewmates. And since it's going to be a long time before the next kill happens, we could just try to focus on completing them. Oh! Okay. Um, Rose and Brown were with me in Specimen. I gotta remember that. It's one of two things. The host changed the things last moment, or two, Lime is just confused. And I'm pretty sure it's the latter, because when I asked everybody if there are any shapeshifters, all of them said no. The body reported by Lime said that it was by electric, and he only typed in the chat blue. Naturally, everybody thought that he meant that Blue was an imposter, but Blue was the person who died. So, it was one of two things. Either the, ship sh the host turned the shapeshifters on, or two, he actually meant Cyan. Or three, he's just confused. But even if it's the latter of these three things, I'm still going to consider Cyan as a suspect. Also, we were close to find out who the actual imposter is in this meeting. You see, Black said that he saw somebody vent. And if my guess was true in that the host didn't change the settings of this game, then whoever Black saw venting was actually the imposter. There are no engineers. Unfortunately, while I was trying to piece together what Lion was saying, I only discovered the piece of information that Black had found out. And when I tried to ask him who he saw vent, he didn't answer me and the meeting ended. I'm gonna try to remember asking him again in the next meeting. Also, somebody is definitely dead by now. I need to check the vital screen in office. A few moments later. Um, this was a bad meeting that left us with more questions than answers. Brown had no idea where the bodies were, and I'm not sure exactly how old Gray and Cyan's bodies were. And turns out that Cyan was not actually the imposter, so it wasn't a confusion by Lime, he just didn't bother saying anything else, I guess. But here's what's interesting. I asked Black again who he saw vent, but he didn't answer me. And according to Banana, Black has been following her for a while during the previous round. Then when Cyan passed by them, he immediately started following him. And she thinks that Black might be sus. Again, this left us with more questions than answers. Did Lime actually see anybody kill when he reported the body which was by electrical. Two, was Black lying about seeing somebody vent or was he actually serious? Three, is Black using quick chat? And is that the reason why he couldn't answer me when I asked him who he saw vent? Oh, wait, somebody must have left. I really wished you wouldn't report that, Rose. Didn't Lime enter a specimen? Hey. We're left with more questions than answers. And I just like... Okay, let's try to analyze everything that happened so far. So, me, Banana, Lime, and Rose all entered lab. Banana did the second part of the notes task, and Lime went into specimen. And I watched Rose do the scan because she wanted some someone to watch her do the scan, and I volunteered to do so. Now, between the time that I saw Rose doing the scan, and when I found Banana's body, I never saw anybody in my line of sight. Lime never left specimen, and nobody has come from the vents of the bathrooms in lab. My vision was high enough for me to see if somebody came from that vent or in that or was in that area or not. I could tell. Given the time between us separating from Banana and then later finding their body, my immediate thought was to scan the area thinking that the imposter was nearby. So, when I went near the door of lab, I saw the lights, uh, sorry, the cameras flickering, which meant that somebody was in security. So I thought maybe we should report the body immediately, so that perhaps whoever was in security have caught the imposter. Turns out that person was brown, and to my disappointment, he didn't see anybody near the lab area. Things that started getting complicated with white and pink. You see, white thought that brown was the imposter. He claimed that he saw brown vent. 
Brahun did a visual task in front of me. I'm pretty sure he is 100% clear. Then Pink said that Brown might be an engineer. I told her that there are no engineers. Then she said that it might be a shapeshifter. I told her that there are no shapeshifters. And I thought that she was acting pretty sus for not knowing that. It got to the point where I started questioning if there are actually shapeshifters or not. But now I think that it might be black and white. Banana said that black was with Cyan before he died and white might actually be lying. They now need one kill to win. Yes, I don't think we voted out any imposters. I still think that there are two in this game. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely getting an imposter voted out. Brown and who was both did scan in front of me. I know I'm a crewmate. It has to be either black or white. Or maybe even both. Come on. Yes. Check out the infinite engineer glitch that I have found on the scale by clicking the video on screen right now. See you guys next time.